Hey y'all, I'm Jonathan McGarry and this is off the page, Genesis chapter 3. This is what God caused to jump off the page to me as I read this chapter several times. In this chapter, we learn of the first temptation of mankind, the fall of mankind, God's loving pursuit of mankind after man had fallen in sin, and the promise of the coming Savior who would defeat Satan, sin, and redeem mankind back to God and end the curse. But I want to focus on something different. Because as I read this chapter today, something new jumped off the page to me. When Satan tempted Eve in the garden, what did he tempt her with? Was it something evil looking, awful tasting, or unpleasant to think about? No. Everything that Satan tempted Eve with was something that logically seemed like a good and wise thing to have. They would be like gods with great wisdom, knowing right from wrong. In addition, the tree offered food that looked very pleasing and was probably delicious. When she took of the fruit and gave it to Adam and they ate it, they realized that Satan had been telling them the truth the whole time. It did make them wise. They did know good from evil, and we can assume that it probably was delicious. But the consequences were costly. The point is that sometimes in life we may encounter things that seem like good, pleasant, and wise, and wholesome, even godly things for us to have. Satan rarely, if ever, tempts us with something that does not appeal to us. Not everything that seems good, or even is good, is good for us, if it is not intended for us. God is the one who teaches us right from wrong, and it is not for us to decide what is right and wrong, but for God to tell us and to teach us and direct us. Sometimes it may be something that we need, or even something that God intends to give us, but we must wait on Him to show us and provide it for us. I'm reminded of the Bible verse, Trust in the Lord in all thy ways, and lean not unto thine own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy path. So what about you? Do you see what I saw? Did God show you something else, something different? Seek him in his word. He will be found. And that is the whole point of us reading his love letter to us, to seek him, to know him, and to have a relationship with him. Let God speak to you today. Until next time, remember I love you. More importantly, God loves you. Keep your eyes on him.